Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand that how we can do the various arithmetic operation that is addition and subtraction in case of one's complement representation. So I have already explained what is one's complement and how you can represent the numbers in one's complement representation in one of the separate video. You can find the link of that video in the number system and data representation playlist in the description below. So you should check that video before understanding this arithmetic operations. So just for your recall, uh, is this number is 14 okay this is positive 14 and this is in the decimal representation right you want to find the once complement representation in binary form for this so in case of positive number as i told you there is no such big deal you just have to convert this 14 okay so 14 is simple 1110 in binary right and you have to append this 0 okay if you do not append this 0 then it will be a wrong representation okay so if you have to convert minus 14 then as i told you first you should take the representation of the positive number okay so positive 14 is this one okay and for finding the minus 14 what you will do you will just flip the bits so 0 will be 1 1 will be converted to 0 and so on so this number is basically representing now minus 14 now if you are given these numbers okay in binary form and you want to find the decimal form for this then how you will get so basically if the last bit is 0 that means this number is representing a positive number positive decimal number so for this case there is no such big deal you do not have to do flipping and all these things but you have to you just take the magnitude of these bits or you can take the magnitude of all the bits okay so basically this is 14 in decimal number now if you have to convert this number to the decimal number then what is this step so here you can see this last bit is 1 so that means this number will be a negative number okay so this will be a negative decimal number so this step is you have to flip these bits okay so if you flip or you convert 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 you will get this 0 1 1 0 right and this is actually your number okay so this will give you magnitude so if i convert this 0 triple 1 0 into magnitude then what i will get so it will be 8 plus 4 plus 2 so 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 2 14 so this, this is basically 14 and this is a negative representation so minus 14 and here also if you see that after i convert this decimal number to binary form i got one triple zero one okay so one triple zero one is minus 14 here also one triple zero is minus 14 that means our steps are correct okay so this was just a recall now let's come to our arithmetic operations so here are our two numbers 8 and 16 and we want to perform the addition operation on these two numbers now i have to represent these two numbers in the ones complement form to find the addition okay so basically the sum of 8 and 16 is 14 like in normal mathematics okay and after converting them 8 and 16 into the addition and after converting the 8 and 16 in ones complement also i should get the 14 only so let's see so let's first convert this 8 and 6 into the binary ones complement form so here are the 8 and 6 representation in ones complement so 8 is 1 triple 0 and this last bit is 0 okay so i have to add this 0 otherwise what will happen if you just write 100 0, 0 for 8 so in ones complement this is not 8 in decimal okay because last bit is 1 that means this number will be something negative so basically it will be like 0 triple 1 and this will be minus 7 okay so 1 triple 0 is actually minus 7 not the 8 so you have to add this 0 same way 6 can be represented as 0 one one zero okay but i have appended this zero okay to make it of five bit number okay because eight is a five bit number now if you perform addition let's see what you will get so zero one 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 and this zero okay so you got this now again if you see this last bit is zero okay so that means this result zero triple one zero is a positive number and if you convert this zero triple one zero it will basically be 14 only because this is wait 8 this is 4 this is 2 so this will be 14 in decimal that means you got the correct answer okay so this is the way you can do the addition operation right so let's take one another example so here you have to add minus 8 and 6 okay so what is the minus 8 representation for minus 8 first you have to write the this positive number representation right so minus 8 will be like first you have to write positive 8 that is this 0 right and you will flip so it will be this one right 
So this is basically minus a. And what is the value of 6? So 6 is the same because 6 is the positive number. So 6 is this, right? So if you add these two numbers in normal mathematics, you should get minus 2. So let's see what I will get here after addition, right? So if you add them, you will get 1. 1 and 1 is 0 will be here. Carry will be here. And 1 and 1 is again how much? 1, 0. And this 1 will be added, okay? So it will be 1, 1. So 1 will be here. This 1 will be here. And where this 1 will go? It will act as a carry. So 1, 0, 0, it will be again 1. Now, here it will be simply 0. So 0, 1, 0, it will be total 1, okay? And what is the like uh, last carry out or you can say end around carry that you get? So here you are not getting any carry, okay? All the total answer can be represented in this 5 bits, triple 1, 0, 1, okay? Now, I have to tell that what does this binary pattern represent? So basically, if you see, this last bit is actually 1. So this is telling me that my answer will be a negative number, right? Now, to understand that what does this binary pattern represent, what I have to do? I have to do the same operation, okay? That what is, I have to flip. So after flipping, I will get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, okay? So this is telling me the magnitude. So this is basically 2, right? So this is 2 and this is negative. So this is minus 2, right? So this pattern is representing minus 2 and I should get minus 2 only, okay? So I have got the correct answer, right? Now let's take one another example. So here is our next example. So here we have to add 50 and minus 43, okay? So 50 and minus 43, if we add them, minus 43, and if we are adding them, what I will get? So I will get actually 7 only, right? Now here I have represented 50 and minus 43, okay? These are in the ones complement. So now let's me represent here also. If I add these 50 and minus 43, okay? So I will get 0, 1, 1, 0. 1 and 1 is 0. Carry will be here 1. 1 and 1 again 0. 1 will be here and this will be 1, 0, right? So this is the, let's say, answer that I am getting. Now these are of 7 bits. This is of 7 bit, but the answer is of 8 bit okay so here actually i'm not talking about the overflow concept okay that i will basically telling you uh, the overflow concept for the case of the ones complement in the separate video okay so here you can see so this last bit is one okay and these are remaining seven bits okay so this bit is actually called end around carry or the carry out bit okay so in case of ones complement if this carry out bit is one okay so here i am getting carry out bit as one so i just add with the answer okay so with this remaining seven bits i will be adding this one okay to get the final answer okay this is not final okay not final why because i am getting one here so if i add them i will get this one 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 okay all will be zero so now here you can see this is my final answer and this is last bit so this last bit is zero that means this answer will be a positive number and what is this number triple one means simply seven so this is a positive 7. So I got 7 from here, okay? And this I got from 7 here, right? So that means I got the correct answer according to one's complement addition. So this is the way that you add the numbers in one's complement. So the thing is, if you are getting the end around carry as 1, you will add them, okay? And whatever the answer will come as, you will interpret that answer. Here in this first example, you can see that you were getting the end around carry, the last bit as 0 because 0 plus 0 was 0, okay? So you did not get any bit here or you can say the carry out bit was 0. So basically, then you did not add anything here, okay? You did not add anything here. Whatever this result came, you interpret that result as the final answer. The same thing happened here. This last bit was 1, okay? The carry out bit here was 0, okay? 1 plus 0 was simply 1, okay? So this carry bit out was 0. So you did not add anything okay so this answer this answer was represented as the final answer okay now let's move to the subtraction operation so if you see here i have to subtract 50 and minus 43 right so this is basically the same thing that we have just seen if i say i have to add 50 and minus 43 if i have to add them so these are basically equivalent okay 50 minus 43 or 50 plus minus 43 these are same okay in maths also so in computer also 
this is the same so this subtraction operation is represented as addition operation right so the thing will be like i will represent 50 i will represent this minus 43 right and here i will write those representations and then i will simply add them that we have just seen okay so you can see i have done the same thing 50 plus minus 43 so i will get same seven answer okay so let me write all the operation directly here so i have directly written all those things here okay so now let's see another example so i have to subtract now minus 3 and minus 4 okay so this is basically can be written as minus 3 the addition of minus 4 right now minus 3 and the addition of minus 4 is basically simple but minus 7 okay so this is also minus 7 and this is also minus 7 okay so these are like equivalent thing okay now basically you can see here 3 can be represented as this minus 3 will be this the same way 4 is this and minus 4 is this in one's complement okay so now let me write this in the binary form here also now let's add these binary numbers so this will be 0 plus 1 1 this will be 1 this 1 and 0 will be 1 1 and 1 will be 0 and 1 okay so now again you have the this last bit as the 1 this is the carry out bit okay and these are total 5 bits so this one will be added okay so this is added okay so if this is added let me write here okay this is added so it will be 0 1 and 1 because it is 1 0 okay carry will be here 1 and 1 again 0 carry 1 1 and 1 0 carry here 1 and 0 is 1 okay so i add it now i got this answer so you have to interpret this as the final answer okay after doing the operation on this now basically this last bit is one that means this one triple zero is a negative number okay so if this is a ones complement as i am representing everything in ones complement so what will be the decimal number so this will be a negative number as i told you and to find the magnitude what i have to do i have to invert it so after inversion i got this so this is telling me what is the magnitude so this triple one is basically seven that means i got seven so that means after performing one's complement subtraction operation on this or basically addition operation okay i got minus seven so i got minus seven as we need okay so you can say that subtraction operation inside the computer is performed using the addition only so if the carry out bit is one we have to add to the answer to get the final answer here also the carry out bit was one we are adding okay if the carry out bit again was zero then you will not do anything you will treat this uh, this as the final answer okay so this was all about the addition and subtraction operation of the ones complement so in summary we can say subtraction is done using addition operation okay the hardware for the addition and subtraction has no such difference okay just a minute uh, change for the converting the subtraction thing into the addition otherwise one and the same thing will be done now when my end around carry or the carry out bit is generated that means if that bit is equal to one then that bit is added with the result and then the final result is interpreted according to the ones complement and if the carry out bit or you can say end around carry bit is not generated that means that is equal to zero then the result is interpreted as such according to ones complement okay then there is no as such further addition right so yeah i think you have understood about the addition and subtraction operation on the ones complement number so if you have any question comment suggestion please write down into the comment box and please like and share this video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification in the further videos we will be seeing that how we can detect the overflow in case of the sign numbers and how we can do the arithmetic operations on the tools complement representation so see you in the next video till then goodbye